out here taking in the very scenic views of undersized men riding glorious, in shape, chiseled from fucking stone, practically horses. Bareback, well, you know, they got the fucking, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, what do you call it, the shit they sit on top of. This guy's so small, it looks like he's barely sitting on anything. But you know what I mean already. Out here, Saratoga Springs, taking it all in, watching these guys strut their fucking horses around at their champion, Majestic Best. Waiting a long ass time for this last one to come through, because this one's making the rounds, you know, playing to the crowd and acting like they're there to see his little ass. No! They're there to see the fucking horse, Junior. So hurry the fuck up. And let that other guy behind you with the pretty blonde-haired horse pass on through, asshole. What's the matter with you? And here we are, of course, with the biggest fucking horse face of them all. That's why he's not even looking at the camera. He's not bothering to because he knows better. I am Mix, of course. Good friend to the show. Bro to the show, as I like to call him. Walking, making the rounds, strutting his stuff, acting all fat cocky and proud of himself about to plunk down some money on some fucking horses he'll never ever probably own in his life but then again imagine owning a horse or imagine owning a bunch of horses how much fun that could possibly be but then again how expensive that must fucking be like take how much a dog would cost normally and maybe times that by a hundred because you got to get the horse fucking shelter the roof over the head the stacks of hay horse food if the picky eaters or something like that but then again, he'll probably save on money because he can just talk and love the horse so much because he's got the horse face to go with it. And of course, speaking of horse faces, look at that dumbass right here. Look at this motherfucker, dirty, dumb print looking ass, hairy eyebrow looking ass, two caterpillars going through a mutually respectful divorce on his forehead looking ass motherfucker. Me, who this of all things, the worst buddy cop movie ever imagined in life. You ever watched some horses in action? Of course, as they make the bend, they make the rounds to finish the race. And of course, this just translates into I am Mix losing what? Losing his patience, losing his mind. And of course, most importantly and unfortunately for him, not for me. I knew better than the fucking bet. Losing his fucking money. There goes the ambulance for the fucking jockeys zooming by. And then last but not least, the vet of all things for the horse. I'm fucking making the rounds after losing of all things but back at it again to bet some more the biggest loser right there in the building pointing to himself proud of himself big old fro hair shaming my ass because i'm bald nowadays too but then again i'm just hair follically challenged what do you want me to do about it i lost that bet i lost that fight against genetics but here he goes i am mix looking fiending itching at the opportunity to get to the nearest gambling machine where he can get his tickets, punch his stamp, one-way express to Loserville again. Because he's hung up on that shit. He's high off life in the sense of living in the fast lane, losing money fast, burning money fast. He's like a skinny, fat belly Rick Ross over here. And of course, he's lining up the culprits over here, the fucking horses. You know what sucks? Of all the horses we saw racing, all of them were brown and or I guess you could say colored horses. No white horses. Where are the white horses at? Or are they too fancy to be subjected to fucking racing for money to entertain us humans? The upright walking mammals like this idiot over here. And of course, the colored horses on display. They're going to come out to play, do their things. But then again, right in front, front and center practically. You got Mr. White Privilege over here talking down to his lackeys, letting him know. Letting them know, excuse me, because there, there is a female there, too. As, you know, she'll turn around soon enough and show you proof she's a female, plenty and proud. Look at that ass, better yet said. Tell them how to fucking make money and keep money, because unless they get people to gamble, they convince them all to gamble and blow their fucking funds, their rents, their 401ks on these horses making laps. This is just, you know, NASCAR with fucking animals, basically. If they don't blow their money on them, he can't afford to keep them employed any further up here in Saratoga Springs, of all places. And here we got Rent-A-Cop, you know, falling out of grace with Hollywood, Kevin Hart, pot belly Kevin Hart, Rent-A-Cop over here, watching over the horses, making sure no one jumps over the fucking fences to, like, stab a horse because it's not winning. We're not winning enough money for him, her, it. Making around one more time, these horses, of course, are they really winners or are they just paid 
or fed enough to make them think they want something that matters. For their owners, of course. And this is the part that concerned me most. All right, so listen. Here's the fucking colored horse. Nice looking horse, pretty looking horse, no denying that. But it seems that only the winners get to be shown getting washed and hosed down. Cleaned up, better yet said. For the public to look at, oh, look how cute. They, 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 they care so much about the horses. They give a shit like that. Look at them, old gentle power, you know, spraying his balls and shit, his nutsack. And then just walking away like nothing. There's rent the cop fucking Kevin Hart again. And of course, right here, as you can see, what makes I am Mix so proud. What gets his dick wet, his cock hard, is watching grown boys with tight ass white pants blow into brass instruments into a microphone blaringly loud enough so for the whole audience the whole fucking place to hear loud and clearly how could you miss that fucking thing it's so loud and annoying in your ear i mean listen i'm impressed with this person being able to play a fucking instrument i can't play anything but my fucking nuts scratching them in rhythm but front and center It almost makes me think that he's really just here to watch these guys blow in the brass instruments. Yo, go say hi to him. Go say hi to him. He's right there behind you. Go say hi. Don't be nervous. Come on. Ah. Oh, God. Some more background scenery. Horses in the back doing their horse thing, trotting around while the white horse ain't there to, like, shun him. And here's another winning horse, I th believe. Yeah, this one won. So the jockey makes the rounds, does the PR run, acts like, you know, he thinks or he buys into the idea of these white folk, the white privileged folk over here, actually give a shit about him, talk to him, not talking down to him, literally in this case, because he's above them, you know, head and shoulders above them right now. But as soon as he jumps off the horse, look at him. He's a fucking tiny person. He's no bigger than the fucking teenage daughter that's fucking born into wealth and horses and knows nothing more to life than to just fucking complain about first world problems like oh my horse is farting too hard and I, I can smell it all the way in the fucking left wing of the mansion and shit up in Saratoga Springs of all places too you take that horse to the back you wash his ass you power blast his ass make sure you get all the butt crust out of him don't let anybody see you doing it though it's disgusting and here here's the winning horse again not front and center this time, but still getting hosed down, still getting cleaned up to look all pretty and pristine, like they give a shit like that about the horses. But once that horse starts losing, or not raking in the dough, as they're expected to do at all times, watch this little motherfucker get dragged to the side and barely get a garden hose drip with fucking holes in it to clean him, her, it, and, and rummage through his genitalia to make sure it doesn't die of a yeast infection or something because I'm sure horses get that too. Uh, then again, I don't know. I'm not too sure really. Here he's really nervous about the jockey being so up close and personal with him. He's like respecting his boundaries. Hi. Oh, you gotta say it like you mean it. He's being interviewed. Yeah, all right. I can't do that. Well, hey. I can't do that, man. No? Not the one that's on my gut, though. I, I don't want that one. I don't want, I don't want to see my gut. I got you. <laughs> I want to see the gut, man. <laughs> no fupa. See, I'm trying to lose some weight, man. No fupa. Lose weight. I'm not. Yo, that that all that humidity and all that made me drop like ten pounds in a week. Like yeah. Like about. I don't know about like two weeks. About two weeks. It wasn't that bad. Was I, I'm going to be very frank with my question, though. You're the expert. You're going to know this. So since you got a BBC, right? You lost some weight. Does that add an inch or two to what you already got gigantic? Or same difference? Ah, same thing. Oh. I'm being dead ass. All right. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass is paralyzed. They laugh like you, those fucking crows. <laughs> Or do they know you lost today, unfortunately? I lost every single bet that I placed. I ain't want a damn thing. I want nothing. 
You got that for free. <laughs> I am shit. <laughs> like how we parked all the way down there? Yeah, and fucking turning down oh, that way somewhere. God. Why this, Lord why? And see just to prove he's got the fucking shirt, he's got the tags. Even that didn't help. Nah man. What all oh, he got? The today? only thing that it helped was that I got free parking. That was it. That was it. Well far away far as yeah, far away. Free parking. This, oh yeah, and this, two bottles of water. This was the farthest I ever parked. I never parked this far. And two bottles of water. I used to park like right over there. Like real close to the entrance. Way over there. Yeah, and then today now I gotta park all the way like three miles away. <laughs> uh, weird. Y'all like y'all that busy today? That, that your own employee can't even park in the employee's parking. And he has to park oh, all no, the no, way no, in the no. back. Hey, don't talk that shit. And you, take the shuttle. No, no, no. You keep bringing up the fact, oh, I don't work here. I work downstate in the office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have people asking you directions. Shit. Oh, sir, where's the Dunkin' Donuts? But, and I told them, you got to <laughs> go up, make the right, right around that corner. Well, you see that, the, the what are you doing? The, 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 the band plays? Right there. Dunkin' Donuts is right next to it. Right next door to it. Oh. Over yonder. He found it. Yeah. Now, ain't nobody gonna miss no Dunkin' Donuts sign like that. Come on. You'd be surprised. Throw a little village over there. Everybody's there for the horses like this lonely one over here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Gotta take a picture. Gotta take a picture. Oh, you're the expert. Are they all boys or any girl, like, horses running? No, they definitely have girls running, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were, they were always boys. Mm -mm. No. Uh... They got females. Right all right, so I misgendered the horses. I'm sorry. Some good boys and girls. Yeah. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. So is that, like, a fun fact you like to drop on people? Like, oh, the horses ain't all males. They're females, too. No, because somebody don't really ask. Only you asked that question. Oh, I asked the gem then. <laughs> you dropped the gem because I asked you. Only you asked that question. Yeah, this didn't help at all, see? All the cringes in the world, the shirt, the tags, the dumb face, the horse face to match. You still couldn't get the fucking free park get close yeah. enough to the track. Look up. You dope. Point to the side. Oh. No, you got a point like they do at the WrestleMania thing. <laughs> Just come close and stretch your arm out. You got to do it like Becky Lynch does it. <laughs> got it. Got it? Yeah. What a cuck. The proud employee right there. No, sip your coffee too. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Sip your coffee. There you go. Deploy the month. Talking like a fucking asshole. <laughs> My thumbs up. Drinking. How about like a fucking dork? Hey, dork. Yeah, once you join this business, this type of business, this is your life. I can imagine. Oh, yeah, we That's was talking. Backstretch personnel. That's where they all stay at. Right here. Okay. So he'll live here. He'll live here for the 40 days. Oh, shit. Okay. For the seven weeks or whatever, whatever the week could be. I think it's like, yeah, seven weeks. God damn. Horse, horse, horse. This whole thing is filled with horses. Which horse barn. ass? Yeah, this whole barn is filled with horses all the way through. They're all posing like making stallions. All the backstretch employees. Is right That's their living quarters. Right That's their dorm. That's where you should be living. That's their dorm. So they're all living in the dorms. <clears throat> so basically, you work here, however long it is, you're working for the horses. Mm -hmm. This is their life, yeah. The horse is your boss. This is their life. This, this is their life. This is what they do for a living. And how long is it again? This meet? Yeah. It's um, 40 days or like seven weeks. This is a lot of land, even further, even all the way down there. That's some more horse shit. There's a lot of land, yeah. All for the horses. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Now, considering you work in the office, or at least from home now, for Naira, yeah. what's the closest you came to interacting with a horse? Um, at Belmont, Belmont Park. But I had to actually go to Belmont Park to interact with a horse. Describe your interaction. What did you yeah, do with the not, horse? Not, not even at Aqueduct. I, even, I don't even interact with them at Aqueduct. Was, did you have the horse's consent to touch him or her? They just slap his ass like, hey, pal. Yeehaw. Like, the trainers are very nice. So they'll, they'll, like, they'll allow you to touch the horses and stuff like, and pet it. Yeah. Take pictures with it. Like, the, 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 the trainers are very nice. Were you excited to touch the horse? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say to the horse? Nothing. It's such peaceful animals. It's the, so peaceful. It's a big-ass dog. Basically. Kind of like you. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Oh. This is the Clydesdale. Holy shit. Yeah, he's dope, man. Yeah. <laughs> the goddamn Clydesdale and the trucks, they get transported in. He's like a kid in the candy shop. These fucking horses soft. They got some fucking cocks on them. Holy Whoa. shit. When they say hung like a horse. Damn. Oh man, this is the first time ever. I felt like Freddy got fingered the first time I seen that movie. <laughs> and I had to turn it right off when that scene came up of him drinking Yo, the horse off. That... Seeing it in person, Ooh. soft. Pause. That expression is like true. Like oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. Bro, pause, but yeah. Bro, like... Soft, even soft. Like man. nothing going on, no horse ass nearby for him. He wow. was, whoa. He was like a like a fire hose getting pulled back in. I cannot imagine how scary that'd be. Like fully erect. It's some scary shit. What if they told you you had to go and calm the horse down? And he's like fully erect. They told me that? Yeah. Like listen, we're gonna pay you a little bit extra, but you gotta calm him down. Just he's like fully erect, so he might smack in the face with a tip. You doing it or no? Uh no. Nah. Yeah, man. Hey. No, what if they say, like, just pat down the tip, oh. you get a Christmas bonus? <laughs> How much would that be? <laughs> they tell you, oh, name a number. You got it, pal. We just need you to go in there, calm down ASAP. Okay, I mean, like, He's getting horny and crazy. You know, like 10 G's, you know, maybe. Yeah, you heard it here first. 10, 10 G's. Dollars. 10 G's. He's going in there. He's calming down a horny horse. Yes. Hey, pal. I'm here to touch your tip. Just think of me as some horse ass. I got the horse face to match. Come on. You got to see your horses. You happy? Hell yeah. You got to see your beer horses. This happened and just, like you said, stumble into them by yep. accident. Stumbled on their cock. You know, totally by accident. If I didn't, if I didn't drive up this way, I would wouldn't even see them. Nope. Take a picture of this, this prize girl. Trump. The trailer. This, this van. With the Budweiser Clydesdale logo on they it. They got one for the horse and one for the cock. So, yes. Oh my god. I'm scared. I think it was a monster. Yo, no, and, and you're right though. You see how big these horses are as is already? Yeah. Such a beautiful horse. Very it is. <laughs> big beer horse. Yeah. That horse is packing, I swear to god, it was earlier. Now it's shy. See, so he's looking at you. Say hi. Say hi. Look, look, look. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi to him. He's looking at you. Just say hi to him. Hi, horse. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? This is obviously the big dick one. <laughs> He got a good look at you, he got shot. Born in 2014. 2,194 pounds. Oh my god. Scary. Hi, buddy. I'm a horse face too, I can relate. But he has to do all Not down there, though. Sorry. These are all male, Majestic, Steve. Oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> They're male. Brandon. <laughs> Whoa. That's Brandon, that's Tim. Tim, oh. So this one's. 
Oh, Tim is gigantic. This one would have been the female, but the female down there, Mary and Lily. No, Tim is gigantic, though. I think he's bigger than these two over here. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, right? No, no, it was small, 18.3. Oh, he just looks big. This was 2,000 pounds. Oh, I think it was thick. What the fuck's in there? Oh, doggies. Oh, I'm happy got to see his big fear horses, Clive's okay. tails. Both stunned by how humongous horse cock is soft, yeah. showing off. Ooh. Shameless both. Huge, man. That's it, man. Hey, don't start crying, all right? You lost. Take it like a man. All right, man. All right. I take it. Take it on the chin. Exactly. I like to put that horse cock. You got to see the fucking Budweiser horses. Come on. You gotta feel good about something. I do. You got to see the fucking horses. I, I am. I am glad. All right then. It's all right. We gotta, get, we gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. We gotta go home. Yeah. That's it. I say goodbye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, dipshit. See ya. Be back next time. See your money next time. Twerp. That's right. It's all right. I think next time we gotta sneak into the cage and, and rub the horse cock for luck. Just a tip. <laughs> like, come on, pal. <laughs> Bless me with your sperm. Lucky ah! sperm. You Championship Clydesdale sperm. Uh, That's a trick. Uh, Holy shit, your afro's blocking the sun. It's a lot of air. I wouldn't know. It's growing, man. Yeah. It keeps growing. Just like you, you're growing. It doesn't stop. Growing as a person. Yeah. It doesn't stop. I wouldn't know. I'm dead on the inside and there, dead hair and vocal wise, too. Ha 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 ha. Bull fuck. You're wild, man. Yeah. You're wild, man. Yo, it's over. All right, it's over. It's over. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. All right.